Alright guys, touch on back again today. Hope you're all doing well and enjoying your day so far. The day is finally upon us. Six weeks to the day after the World Championship concluded. Optic Tankers have confirmed their starting roster for the 2024 season. How good is this team going to be? It is the team that we expected. They baited around a little bit today on the timeline that we'll get into as to what it could potentially mean going forwards. And there'll be loads of reaction to this, I'm sure, over the coming days. Very much enjoyed to hear your thoughts in the comments below. Hit the like button if you enjoy. Subscribe if you're new as always. I would greatly appreciate it. There has been some talk over the the last couple of days. I know a few of you guys pointed out to me this clip of Hitch the other day saying oh, to a maniac like, hey we've got this uh, fly cast with Sip coming up and they'd be like, oh no, I didn't mean to say that. It's like, alright, I know the game you're trying to play here at this point well enough, but um, yeah, so Optic Sip is not a thing yet and who knows, right? Optic have formed many theoretical, you know, future dynasty level teams. Okay, doing a dynasty nowadays is difficult, but it's future dominant force teams that haven't really delivered what they They've been expected to and they've made multiple changes over the last couple of years and that might well still continue but today was meant to be a process episode the process press start whatever but they didn't release a time for this and I was always a little bit confused because usually they say what time it's going to launch on the next day and I think it's typically around about 2 p.m central they do it 3 p.m eastern maybe it's a bit later than that and I'm misremembering but it's usually around about the time that they do it so I was kind of wondering what's happening here especially when Shotzi tweets today's the day and um, this was on Reddit. I don't know who made this, but I saw this on Reddit a while ago and it's still doing the rounds, it seems. So, um, I mean, yeah, I'm not going to say any more of that, to be honest. But there'll be more of that to come. But uh, then they confirm a change of plans. So, no process episode, but instead an announcement. And I think they did this pretty well. So, no process, but the breakdown at 4 p.m. Central or 4.30 p.m. Central, right, with the boys on the show that's currently on going as I'm recording this. I'll make sure I listen to the whole thing to get all the juice for you guys to morning. You know the vibe. But they had none other than Anthony Method Zinni sitting down in the chair in somewhat of a reminiscent form to when you have, you know, either when players retire or when Zinni actually initially joined Optic back in 2018 when he sat down with Octane and there was all that going on at the time. So people were wondering what's going on here. And there was some thoughts and I was like, oh my god, like I can't believe this is getting delayed again and again and what is exactly going on here with Zin. But um, yeah, people were saying whether there was a chance of Zinni not returning right? I don't think anyone actually bought that Zinni was going to be an AR to partner Dashi on the starting team. And Dashi was on stream joking about it and saying, oh yeah, Zinni and us, I'm gonna, it's going to be the perfect partnership. And Zinni also retweeted, I believe. You can't see it because it's his pins thing. But um, I'm pretty sure yesterday he retweeted this of like his retirement. So they were trying to play some games here, right? And like obviously Ronnie came up with his ideas of what they were going to do. And some people thought, and maybe this was also a viable idea, that potentially Methods could be their sub and I don't think that will be the case and we don't know if that will be the case at least as a recording yet but um people were wondering okay maybe there's something here that Optic are trying to do with Methods making some return I don't think it was ever going to be the case that Methods was going to return to like Optic Nation and play in challenges but maybe Methods having some more involvement in the team could make sense and I respect Optic trying to make things interesting because we knew the roster we knew what it was going to be for some time now and people clown on Optic for trying to make it a little bit interesting, which they did. I mean, this whole saga with Methods doing this, and we had Trippy as well on the Halo team drop a similar thing, and it raised a few questions as to what exactly was going on, and I think that's a better way to do it because, you know, people will complain either way. You drop a video of the team being formed that you expected to, and people say it's boring, and then when you try and mix it up a little bit and get Ziddy to do something and make a little bit of controversy maybe, people wondering what's happening, then people moan about that as well. So you can't really win if you're a team to Doing announcements. Scump dropped the same thing. And even Hilton as well, a legendary coach from back in the day and uh, currently involved with an organization, also drops the same thing. So it was about to go down. And then we get the times that come through here from Optic Update and the Scump stream goes live at the same moment where things are happening. And there has been some, I'm still confused as to exactly what this was when Shotzi did that TikTok back at the start of July when, um, you know, he was looking at this video. I don't exactly, I still don't exactly know what this is for. Maybe you guys heard about this and maybe it was some 
sponsorship thing they had going on. But I'm still been a bit confused by what this is. And maybe Optic have changed their mind a couple of times on exactly the way they intended to announce this because Prid went back to Australia for a fair bit and now he's back in the US, of course. And I think he was joking on stream that he had to leave to catch a flight back to Europe or something. I don't know what's going on there. But anyway, Optic do this video and I'll just make sure that it's a nicely on screen for you guys. Maybe I'll just play it straight up and then we can continue onwards. So yeah, it's time to uh, prove the world wrong. My first go around for Optic on the competitive side back in 2018 definitely didn't go as planned, so I'm excited to get the opportunity to run it back. I think being undefeated against Pred was probably my best selling point in playing Atrix Shotzi and sort of, I guess getting myself involved with the team environment was bro, my best selling Yo, point. No, man. That was my seat, bro. No, this man. is my seat. That's all me. It should have been me. It should have been me. Yo, Pred. Yo, Pred. Yo. Yo, Pred. Wake up, bro. We got a scrim. Yeah, I'm coming. I just had the weirdest dream. So a pretty entertaining video idea. Zinni sits down and says like, hey, I'm going to be back in business. And then Kenny kind of like kicks him off the chair. And I mean, look, they didn't do anything special with the lightsabers or anything like this. But you know, people were, so many people were suggesting it that maybe that had felt a little bit cheesy if that was to have been the case. Prid wakes up, he's in the jersey. And also they sit down at the end, of course, with the boys. So actually, it was, this is Shotzi here. This was not Dashi, but this was Kenny. And it's Dashi on the left because I'm pretty sure we see, not like it matters, now and anyway we know the team but uh, just to mention like this is Kenny turning around right and then Pred sits down on the right hand side so it's kind of what we thought it would be and I always find it funny when they do this because it's like they're not scrimming now are they you know what I mean like there's no game to be played now so I don't really you know it's kind of funny that they sit there in the practice room pretending they're scrimming but the game isn't even out yet but I'm um, still it gets the point across and Pred is on the team this is the big one right and we'll talk about Kenny as the more controversial in some sense recruitment here by Optic Texas and not their first option let's not forget I mean they want a draw so that seems to be known even though as a couple of guys mentioned a couple of days ago now that Zinni was like oh draws are lied about something we don't really know what he was meant to have lied about but still that might be a topic we come back to over the coming days but Pred was meant to go to Optic last December right it was in December last year and certainly January last year we talked about the Pred Optic thing Surge said no and uh, well done Seattle Surge by the way great piece of business business there by holding on to Pred, not winning anything, and now he goes for free when you could have had like 750 grand or whatever the supposed number was that they were going to buy Pred out of that contract for. Now he's on Optic. There was a bit of debate. Do they get Envoy? Do they get Pred? And I saw a lot of people saying in the early part of Rostermania that Envoy would have been the best possible partner for Shotzi, and I can see why you might think that. As far as I'm concerned, Pred's the guy to get. He's going to be... He's already a big personality. Pred on Optic is going to be just a massive force in the Call of Duty landscape, I think, over the coming years. And it's like with Draza, we mentioned the other day. If you give Draza the choice where he goes, Optic or FaZe, he's going to pick FaZe. If you give Pred the choice, he would have picked Optic, I think. Even if FaZe gave him the offer, I think he would have gone to Optic. Just because I think he values that side of the business more. And he knows what he can do as a brand and as a personality going forward. And potentially try and bring multiple championships to the green wall because it's been a struggle for Optic over the last several years. Ever since Crim6 left and ever since the Dynasty broke apart, it's just not been the same, to be honest, in the CDL era. Yes, they've had a messy thing from an organizational perspective, but they formed some decent on-paper teams, if not great on-paper teams. They've never really worked. Last season, they got quite close, to be honest, a couple of second places. They did win, of course, the opening event of Vanguard, but since then, it's been downhill. Pred, I think, can be the man to take them back. And Pred and Shotzi is an SMG line. Yes, you might have your questions how that's going to work. Who's going to set the pace? Who's going to get the first bloods? Because Pred and Shotzi both are first blood demons in Search and Destroy. They're going to have to work that out. But on paper, that search team is pretty immense, right? With Draza, it would have been even better, I think. But with Kenny, it's um, still very acceptable. And I think Pred was the man to get all things considered. He's going to bring the slang if necessary. Just the perfect guy, I think, to get for Optic, and they've delivered on that. So that is definitely a W as far as I'm concerned. The other one is Kenny, and I've made my points clear that I think this move is really good. Octane, maybe he would say this, former teammate of Kenny, says that yes, he's the man to get. Of course, he's also going to gas up Draza as well. But Kenny adds a lot, I think, that Optic have missed. I've said it before that ever since Crim6 has left, they've lacked that kind of presence, that killer edge, that 
that cutting edge mentality. And I think that both Pred and Kenny, to be honest, bring that to the team. I do wonder how the relationship will work with Dashi. Just because we have seen Dashi over the last several years clash with certain personalities. Whether that's the Crimsixes that I mentioned back in the day or in more recent times, whether that's, let's say, Slasher or even Rambo, certainly last year, and also Ghosty, the rumor had it, at the end of last season. Will that happen with Pred? Because if you've watched any of the Seattle Surges behind the scenes stuff, Pred is hard on his teammates. And I think for good reason. He wants the best out of them. He wants the best out of himself. And if Sib or anyone else is making mistakes that they talked about, he's going to call them out because of it. And I think there's a question to be asked there about how that's going to work internally at Optic. But look, I think that they've got a good enough coaching staff and Karma can come in and resolve that. And I think Kenny's a similar way, to be honest. We've seen Kenny and Envoy have a go at each other behind the scenes. And uh, Dashi's just got to be ready for that straight up because, um, you know, they're going to have conversations that could create friction if the wrong attitude is presented. But Kenny, I think, is being underrated by a lot of people, to be honest. Yes, he hasn't had some of the greatest statistical seasons, but he's going to be back on the AR role that he prefers to run. When he's on form and when he's on point, he's incredibly effective. And he does bring some comms, does bring some leadership to this team in a role where, to be honest, they kind of need it. And he's a real veteran at this point. It's got to be Zed Getty. Been playing cards at a very professional level, like Envoy, I guess, since 2015 in Advanced Warfare. Had to take a few years off because he was underage and then made the return. And ever since then, has been pretty incredibly good, to be honest, most of the seasons. Yes, he's had his downs, but I think it's been more ups than downs. And at some point in the year, usually, maybe with the exception of this year, which was a down year, but I don't think Kenny's lost it or anything, has usually a period where he's one of the best players in the world. And of course, the other big thing getting Kenny is that you no longer have to worry about Kenny knocking you out, right? Because this guy was always the optic demon whenever he played optic on Thieves would always take them down. And to be fair, it's been the same with Pred on the Seattle Surge. Knocked him out of champs optic the last two years in a row. So maybe, you know, I don't know if you guys believe in that, whether it actually matters or whether there's anything in that. But still, getting Kenny and Pred to your team is theoretically, based on the numbers, going to help you a fair bit not get knocked out of events by those players going forwards. So I really like the way that they've gone here. Yes, if you get Draza instead, maybe theoretically it's a bit better. We know that Draza and Dashi get on well. We know that Draza is an absolute grinder. But in fairness, I think these guys are as well. And maybe if they had Draza, their search and destroy would be maybe a little bit better than they presently are. I thought this is really well done actually as well because I've just noticed here Envoy on the right hand side has been photoshopped into an ultra jersey, whereas Kenny's got the optic one on already. So, like, I like this. Maybe it's not absolutely as good as they could have done if they got Draza, but still, I think that Kenny can do an admirable job in this roster. And the question is, what is the success level for this team? What do they have to do to be considered successful? Because, yes, they want to do better than a lot of the other previous situations that have been formed over the last couple of years that are, frankly, under-delivered for the green wall. But all the teams around Optic, and I think Optic made an upgrade here. I think that, you know, Hook for Pred is a clear step in the right direction, and and Ghosty for Kenny is maybe more marginal, but I can see why that would help their team take a step forward, especially from like a chemistry and a leadership. Maybe Ghosty was good at leadership for sure, but Kenny's got a lot more experience and will potentially command the comms in a better way, or at least a way that creates less friction maybe than we saw towards the end of the last season than we had with Dashi at times, especially in scrims and practice and stuff like this. But what's success for this team? How many events do they need to win? Especially when you see FaZe, New York, Toronto also taking strides and steps forward with their roster. So if you're much interested in your perspective in the comment section below, but as Pred confirms, joint optic hashtag brick by brick. So it's now official and um, yeah, has Hex cooked up the next optic dynasty? I think it's going to be very difficult for that to even be possible nowadays, given the level of competition. But nonetheless, this is a good attempt, I think, from Optic Texas. Very much interested in your thoughts in the comments below. Hit the like button if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new. Take care and I'll see you next time.